take good care here. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing fantastic today. Today I'm coming to you guys with a uh, bag of the week video. Um, I am moving out of my beautiful denim uh, large Florentine satchel by Dooney and Bark. I have been wearing this satchel now for about two weeks and I absolutely have loved her. She has been a beautiful comp carrying companion. And yeah, I have absolutely loved wearing her. Um, she's just a gorgeous bag. One of my videos not too long ago, someone asked if she was a heavy bag. And honestly, to me, I don't think she's heavy at all. I really enjoy carrying her. Um, however, I will say like if you're doing a lot of walking and things like that, um, for more than like I would say 20 or 30 minutes um, without sitting, um, I would say she could get a little heavy to carry on the wrist, um, like your arm could get a little tired, um, but the wonderful thing about these satchels is they have a crossbody strap and I normally like to double up my crossbody strap so that it is like a shoulder bag like this. And with that, it's not heavy at all. And obviously, it would depend how much you have in here, how much you carry in your large satchels that will also um, contribute to how heavy and whether or not it's a heavy bag. But I mean, it is an all leather bag, so it's taken that into consideration. But I honestly don't feel like it's too heavy to wear. I definitely think it's wearable, it's definitely doable. Um, and if you like a larger satchel bag and you're used to carrying bag with a little bit more weight, this is a great bag. However, if you don't like heavy bags or for whatever reason, say you may have a medical reason, you're not able to carry a lot of weight on your wrist or on your shoulders, um, they have small versions of these as well. And I do a video where I discuss that and I will link it in the eye in the sky for you if you want to click on that video and watch that video after this video um definitely go ahead and do that yes i have been loving this bag i've been in her for almost two weeks um and so yeah i'm finally gonna move out of her i will even wear her today with my outfit of today and she just goes with a lot of stuff she's a, she's the denim satchel and she's just such a beautiful blue color and she goes with a lot of different stuff and i love I love satchels that have a neutral that can that can that you can switch up and wear with several different things. So this has been an awesome, awesome bag. But today I have been missing my coach bag. So today I'm gonna move into my coach rogue. And um yes, I love this bag. I've had her now for a little bit, and I think I got her a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, but this is the all leather, uh, glove tan leather, um, coach robe. And I absolutely love this bag. She's in like this nudish color. She has like a pink, almost like a dusty rose, uh, kind of like pink undertone. And yeah, so I'm going to be in her and I added this strap to her, um, because her regular strap is the same color as the bag. And um, I just wanted to add some depth and dimension to that. This is what the bag looks like on the inside. Um, it does come with a dust bag. Coach has what they call a 1941 collection. And that's their collection where they bring, where they brought back a lot of their oldie but goodies um, bags. So bags that like are vintage almost style um, that were made in like the top uh, materials and leathers and um, brass finishes that uh, Coach O is a 1941 collection piece. It is uh, the Coach Rogue, and this is um, this is the larger one. I don't remember the size, but this is the one that's up from the size 25. Um, and you can normally tell if you are dealing with a, a Coach Rogue that's a part of the 1941 collection with with the beautiful with this tag right here it's a lot more thick and a lot more substantial than a regular coach tag so yeah i always like to describe 
the Coach 1941 collection, like the Range Rover of Coach's luxury handbag line. And so, yeah, this is like the top of the top. And I'm super glad that I was able to get this one. And yes, as you probably can imagine, I did get her discounted. I think I got her when she was like 70 or 75% off. This bag can retail upwards of over $1,000, depending on what size. I've also been told that uh, Coach does ready-made robes, where you can actually go and you can pick your own color and uh, of the uh, exterior and the interior, which is made up with uh, this is uh, suede um, and the uh, the color the tone of the brass your color brass options you can choose all of that um, to have your rogue a custom made rogue um, those are a little more expensive obviously because you're custom making it um, but they do offer that so the rogue comes with two um, pockets on either side and they're both lined in suede not microfiber but the real deal suede um, and then on the inside of it has the canvas lining. It has the kiss lock pocket here where you can hold things like your small wallets and things like that. And then on the opposite side, it has a zip pocket um, where you can hold other things. All right, so I have taken all of my things out of my other bag. I have switched over my wallet. Um, and yeah, I'm ready to pack up this coach roll. So I normally like to put, for example, like my wallets and stuff in the center pocket. Unlike Dooney and Burke, coach does not have any key, key keeper. So I will put my um, glasses on the side so that I can access those easy. Um, I'm going to be wearing my pouch here from coach which I absolutely love um, I just keep my chapstick in here and I'll put a mask in here as well for good measure that's nice and ready to go and I will put this in the center as well so I decided that I needed a bigger pouch than this small one I decided I needed a bigger um, catch-all pouch so I'm gonna take all of my stuff out of here this pouch is from Patricia Nash. I got it from Marshalls and it was $24. And this is also real leather, 100% genuine leather. Um, you can find a lot of them. This is a really, really nice size. If you want a comparison, this is the medium, uh, medium wristlet from Dooney and Burke. And this is like a small size catch-all and there goes the difference in sizes as you can see. So it's a pretty decent size. I can fit all of what I need to fit in there really nicely. So I have decided to switch that. So I'll be using this instead. And I will put that right in here. And also mount with my other accessories. So that's nice. So that fits really well. Um, I also need to bring my, this is where I hold my keys. And I think I'm gonna put that on the opposite side of the bag. So I have my keys here and then my glasses are over here that's basically all i really need to put in this bag now you see how that's bulging like that i don't like that so i'm gonna go ahead and take my keys and put it here in the main in the middle pocket right there it's right here on the side um i like that much better i don't like it not that and it's doing the same thing over here um I mean, the hope is that it's not going to affect the leather, but I don't like when I see an indent in my bag because I'm afraid it may affect my sunglasses. I'll put them in the side pocket right here. But there it is right there. Sticking out a little bit, but that's okay. At least I don't have that harsh line. All right, and so these are the straps that come with the first row. And there are two small straps, and it allows you to wear the bag either shoulder or crossbar. So that's what it looks like when you wear it shoulder. Now, in order to convert it into a crossbody, you take these. Just one strap from each opposite end, from the opposite end, <laughs> okay? And then you just 
put them together like that. And so now you have the capability of wearing your rogue as a crossbody, which is also really nice for those times when you don't want to carry the bag on your shoulder. Or the that, I will say um, there is this buckle here and now and that because that's not covered with any kind of leather and it's just up against your skin that can be a little bothersome so i mean it doesn't bother me right now but i can imagine if i'm walking around for hours and hours if i had just pure metal up against you know my skin that may bother me so that's just something you know i like to keep it real on this channel and tell you guys the good and the bad so that's just something to be mindful of however i still love the robe there's just all i love this huge large zipper here of course i feel like this bag would be ideal would have been ideal if it came with gold hardware but um it comes with gunmetal hardware which is still really really nice and really beautiful um and yeah i love my coach robes so this is the bag that i am moving into for the week Very, very nice bag. Also, she does have feet as well. So yes, this is the bag of the week for me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Definitely share this video with anyone in your community who you know loves luxury handbags and would love to know when and where to find them at affordable prices. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to uh, like or follow me on my Facebook page. That's where I keep you guys updated on any new deals that I see throughout the week. I will post them there so that you guys can take advantage of them while they're still available. So go ahead and follow me there if you haven't already. The link to my Facebook page will be in the description box below. Um, I don't believe that they are selling this particular coach robe bag, but I will leave the link to uh, the coach website where you can um, look into robes if you are interested in this bag. If you absolutely love it and you want to have one for your own collection, I will send put the link in the description box below to where you can find this uh, beauty or something similar or something like it. Um, and again, this is made in Coach's Famous's glove tan leather. As you can see, it's imprinted on the bottom in that gold. And yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful bag. It's wonderful. Really happy to have this one in, in my collection. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to say also hello to all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I truly hope that you guys have enjoyed the content thus far. Thank you all, all so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful week or weekend. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.